Okay, your incidence is 10%, that means you miss 90% of them. So incidence is about number of hits. Okay, in this case, we are talking about the burden of the tax on consumers versus producers. It's like how many times they get hit relative to the other party. Step one, a tax always shifts your supply curve. In this topic, we are not talking about income tax, right? So when you have a tax, supply shift to the left. Okay? Second, And see, yeah. The tax always ends up shifting your supply curve. Second, vertical distance between the supply curves represents the size of your tax. This is the size of my tax. So, oh, did I put an S there? So if I tax them even more, then the curve will shift up to a larger extent. Any questions? Okay. You can see it this way. Before the tax to produce Q2, producers are happy with this price. After the tax, you want them to produce Q2, they want a higher price. Why? They have to make up for the tax they pay. Okay. Third point, total tax collected, total tax revenue that goes to the government is T multiplied by Q2, which means the government collects this much in taxes. Does it make sense? T is the tax per unit good. If you sell Q2, tax per unit multiplied by Q2. That's how the math works. Okay. Any questions? Fourth one. You follow these rules and huh? you will never get it wrong, okay? Okay, here I should add, always carry out your an uh, analysis from Q2. Always analyze from Q2. Don't look at Q1. Why? Q1 was before the tax. Past tense. History. Okay. Fourth point. Consumer's burden or consumer's incidence is... The change in price multiplied by Q2. So the consumer share is this much. Why? Consumers only know that they have been taxed when they see that prices have increased. Producer share, very simple, is 3 minus 4, which means the producer share is this one. So that's about 80% of what you need to do when you find incidence of a tax. I've just found the consumer share and the producer share. Questions? No? 
Okay. There is actually one last step. Okay. You notice the consumer and producer share, they look somewhat similar here. But I can tell the sixth step. Whoever, whether consumer or producer, has a steeper curve. Steeper curve means lower price elasticity. Whoever has a steeper curve will end up with a larger incidence. Okay. So whoever has a steeper curve has a larger incidence. Like in this case, if I have a really steep demand curve and I do the same thing, S1, S2, P2, P1, Q2 and Q1 my consumer share will become bigger. Whereas my producer share will become smaller. Okay. Look at this.